for most electrophysiological studies or ablation procedures, we'll start with trying to understand what is the rhythm disorder we're dealing with. If you have atrial fibrillation, it is very easy for us to know exactly what you have, but For patients that have, for example, what we call SVT or supraventricular tachycardia, they could have one of many conditions. So during our procedures, the initial portions, what we are going to be trying to do is understand the rhythm of your heart, the conduction system, if it's working properly, do you have abnormal pathways or areas that could be triggering the arrhythmias. So in the initial portions, we call that the electrophysiologic study, we may use not only pacing maneuvers or using the catheters to stimulate your heart to trigger an arrhythmia, but oftentimes we use medications, adrenaline-like medications, such as isoproterenol, for example, to try to increase the chances that we can put your heart out of rhythm. You will likely be asleep for those portions, so that you don't have uncomfortable uh, episodes or uh, periods of time as we're trying to get your heart out of rhythm.